Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a short, sharp Q&A. Just going to probably answer about four to five of your questions. And let's just jump straight into it. I get this question asked quite a lot. Do I make money from football? You guys do DM me this question a lot. I try to respond to as many of you as possible, but I thought I'd just answer it on my YouTube video now since another one of you asked me. Do I make money from football? Currently, no, I don't. I have made money from football previously in the past. So when I was at Cardiff City, I was a scholar there and I signed a two-year scholar. I left about six, seven months into the scholar. Um, so I was being paid for that six to seven month period. But at the moment, I'm currently not being paid. Since I am at Boreham Wood, they only pay the first team and not the academy. Obviously, my goal is to become a professional footballer and Boreham Wood is a professional football club. But I do want to get into a professional contract, signing a professional contract um being full-time and training full-time so that is something i'm currently working towards that's my main goal my main focus in my life that is hopefully the answer to your question i do currently do one-to-one -one online coaching so make a little bit of money from that that is kind of my main source of income not a huge amount not much to be honest it's a little bit of income for me helping you guys as i love to do but i will leave a link for that one-to-one -one coaching in the description you can go check that out if you want to. I'll help you with your one-to-one -one online coaching. It's quite exclusive though, so I'll be selecting a handful of you guys. Question two, when and how did I realize the importance of nutrition as an athlete or as a footballer? I probably mentioned this in the previous, in some previous video, but when I was younger, I used to be a lot bigger, kind of, I was chubby as a kid, and I realized that if I wanted to progress to become a footballer, I would need to lose some of that fat and um, slim down a bit. So I started to more focus on my nutrition, focus on healthy eating. I did start to track my calories to kind of get into a caloric deficit. I currently don't track at the moment. I was tracking about a few weeks ago because I was in a slight calorie deficit to reduce my body fat just a little bit. This was back when I was around 14, 15, I'd say probably I'd started focusing on my nutrition and looking at the things I was actually putting into my body to fuel my training. Yeah, that is the main kind of thing. And then I started a little Instagram from there I only had about a thousand followers just posting kind of food pictures of what I was eating at the time. And then I deleted that and started this Instagram, The Professional Diary. Started that in February of 2022. So, so it's grown quite quickly. Um, but yeah, that is kind of when I started focusing more on my nutrition to help with the football. The best book recommendation for a football athlete? I would probably say relentless is number one by tim grover he also has another book called winning by tim grover as well really good both of them really good books but first i would say read relentless that's a highly recommended book from me number two you could read is can't hurt me by david goggins it's a good kind of motivational but also mindset kind of book and then number three i do really like is a monk who sold his ferrari by robin schwarmer i think his name is it's a very good book and unique for you to understand because it's written in a kind of story where a person who's actually looking to improve their self-development foundations of the book itself on your mind and the way you will look at the world is very impactful so i'd highly recommend that as well so they're my top three relentless by tim grover you can read his other one winning as well which is the book after it can't hurt me by david goggins and a monk who sold his ferrari by robin swarmer this question is by my boy andy Vorosky back in australia how many times do i train in the gym and football sessions uh, my week goes like this i'll probably be on a monday training gym um, Tuesday training gym, the gym will be very light, the training will be light, but the gym work will be more focused around kind of either an upper body session, light upper body session or recovery work slash mobility. And then the training session will be light. And then again, Wednesday, Thursday, recovery slash upper body gym session, probably no training on a Thursday. Friday, moderate training session, so fairly decent, plus a lower body, slash upper body depending how i'm feeling and then on a saturday i don't play games at the moment so it is a currently either again how i'm feeling if it's a upper body slash lower body gym session going to be a hard day and training it's going to be a hard day 
and then Sunday. Depending how the week's gone, how the game went, I may take a complete rest day, do maybe a, a bit of active recovery work, either swimming or just go for a walk. Potentially on a Sunday, I might have a game as well, which I forgot to mention. It does change on a weekly basis and a day-to-day -day basis, which is why you have to be flexible and able to adapt. But yeah, that is kind of my weekly schedule. All the five questions that I've answered today. I hope you guys did like this Q&A. And if you want to see more kind of Q&As like this, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.